Hey guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. Oh, the Shade Tree Railroad Man today. And I thought I'd bring you down and show you a little bit of what I've been doing on the backdrop. No, I haven't been uh, photographing it right along. Partly because I really, I really don't know what I'm doing. That's the truth of it. And uh, some of you, uh, quite a few of you mentioned that uh, Bob Ross had nothing on me. Well, Bob Ross had a method and he knew exactly what he was doing and what his results would be. I don't. And I, I could give you a case in point. Now you look at this side here that I'm working on and it's far from done. And then I swing around over here and you look at this side. And it really doesn't look the same at all. Now I know mountains change and they change shapes and depending on the area they look different. Uh, but uh, my mountains over here aren't even close uh, to what they were in the first section and I guess that's okay. Um, and uh, I'm trying, in the back of my mind anyway, I'm trying to progress down here towards our three-dimensional mountain and uh, try to tie it all together which is part of the reason why the mountains on this side are much taller than the mountains on this side. I don't know if that makes any sense to you but uh, a lot of what you see here that I have done uh, was not done on purpose like all of this brownish red color over here that's my leftovers all mixed together from today and this part in here was leftovers from not yesterday but the day before and the black and stuff over here I did actually do a bunch of black just to fill this all in and give me a foundation and I like I had told you before I keep adding more and more because um, you have to do it until it looks like something. Well, you notice these real dark spots, those are still wet because I just painted them today. And these spots here and these spots over here. And uh, part of the reason is I'm adding more texture. And as I come in here, now that I have started doing some of the dry brushing, so what I did is after my first texturing that you saw me doing, I came and I painted it all black because I wanted the black in the background and the white going over it with a dry brush brings out the details and gives me the rock strata look. So I've added some more in right in here because it's, I want this to be another a ridge coming down this side of the mountain. Uh, just as you see there's a ridge across here that has the snow collecting on top and uh, yeah, mostly what I get, uh, I think Bob Ross said, happy little accidents. That's exactly what my painting is. A lot of happy little accidents. Just like my trees down the bottom here, they're still not quite what I want them to be. But they were actually happy little accidents because I was getting so that they were too many uh, you know evergreen trees on these mountains so I switched over to a, a round sponge brush and started doing this in here to make it look like there was more deciduous foliage and in the process of that I thought well you know I could uh, I could put a couple of trees right down here that are right alongside the railroad and some bushes well I have and but they look kind of fake so I'll be after they dried I'll add more to them and you notice I've been adding some red accents in there the over here I had some red accents and I had a couple of fir trees that I had painted in here and bushes and so forth and those took two or three applications to get them looking reasonably realistic uh, just like I have uh, three more over here down behind these train cars. Let me slide these cars down a little bit. 
see yeah and then of course back in the distance there's more and probably nobody ever noticed it before but there's actually a, a little cottage on the side of the mountain down in here let me zoom you in there yep right up in the foothills of the mountains there's a little house with a field around it but uh yeah so that's where we're at I did do uh, start doing the cloud over the top of this mountain peak it's not completely done I know a little bit more I've got a little more proficient at doing clouds I'm not sure that this one's done yet um, I'm a little more proficient at them actually than I am with mountains just because I've done a lot of them and I I extended this one here out a little bit so uh, and again those are just done with a round sponge brush um, and you just keep dabbing it uh, what do they call it stippling maybe that's what they call it I don't know but uh, yeah so we're getting there and it'll keep taking more layers and more layers um, I worked on the dry brushing on here and adding more texture and then I worked on these trees here today and of course these two uh, deciduous trees down here um, which I'm not really happy with I'm gonna have to do more with them uh, you can tell that it's just a bunch of round uh, sponge brush blobs on there and I want them to um, not look quite so cartoonish you know what I mean so I'll be working at it and uh, part of the way you work at it is uh, just keep experimenting so yeah that's like over here the shading on the side of this mountain is pretty nice I did that three or four days ago and uh, that was just using up some of my leftover paints but that's a happy accident. Think I can do it again? Uh, who knows? But we'll keep working at it and uh, eventually we'll get there. So there's where we're at at the moment and uh, nothing fantastic to show but I thought I'd just give you a little bit of an update. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and for commenting and subscribing. And uh, it's hard to believe, isn't it? That this scrawny tree that doesn't have much left to it because I keep hitting it used to be a full green tree like the ones behind it. That was before the railroad came through. Not sure why they didn't cut that one down.